Hello everyone and welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. Joko Judas is my name. Today we want to install fresh Windows 10 right from zero. We want to do it together how to install Windows 10 on our laptop, brand new laptop from the shop. So and uh, in case you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like and smack that button there. I have great great stuff here for you. Let's keep it perfect. Yeah? And if you have already subscribed, thumbs up to you. Thank you very much. Now this is our brand new laptop. That I want to show you is our brand new laptop HP from the shop. So I'm going to install Windows. Now this laptop did not come with a CD-ROM or DVD, so we have to improvise with a, an external. This is my external, to my external CD-ROM. But don't worry, if you don't have this, you can make a bootable flash. I'll be showing you how to make a bootable flash. But as for now, we're going to use our external. And uh, this is our new CDs. We're going to install Windows 10. So just keep it here as we begin. Okay. Now, you insert in your this plastic make up table. So, um, okay, now we're going to begin. So, as you're putting this laptop, this is a power button. This is an HP, depends, there's Dell, there's a Lenovo, many brands of computers. It depends on which computer, like when you're putting it. For HP, you press F9, then Lenovo and some other brands press F12. You enter into that portable mode. So, let's begin upon my laptop yeah it's new now i'm going to insert in my windows 10 dvd you can buy from your shop from a shop there this is the ram i'm gonna change it because it's just brand new so i need to change the ram maybe it does not match so i need to change it and here we go f like i'm going to switch it off okay switch on then f9 so that we go into the bootable mode okay we didn't you can't see our uh, our USB external, so let's enter into the BIOS. Enter into the BIOS, press F2. First of all, here we, we control, Alt, Delete. Okay, first we need to change, we, we need to go to in, in, in BIOS, then we change, let's see what we can change there. So it is F1 system information, F2 system diagnosis, F7 HP spare key, and F9 boot device option. F10 by setup. So we need to go to by setup since it is a new laptop from the shop. We need to change. We don't know how the device is set. So you scroll down F10. That is a F10 for by setup. And it comes like this. You go to advanced. Then you come to boot options. So you can actually also set time and date. Okay. Yep. Come to boot option. Enter. All right. Come to boot, yes, USB boot, the stick, customer's boot, I scroll down. Now there's this boot order. So we need to put select our USB, click, then you enter so that let's escape, return. Okay, then confirm the option. Okay, yeah, select UEFI. Hmm. That is I've selected UEFI hybrid with CSM. Meaning if we are in seven, we would still select there. Or oh, also legacy but you're going to, we won't put windows 10 so we have selected uefi hybrid make sure that you save the step you do you save so you press enter yeah okay then accept here all right now uh, let me see where else can we change uh, go to build in device options there's a lot more that needs to be changed that is if you boot and doesn't boot you come to base then make sure that you change yeah all right all right okay you change according to your plan f10 for saving click yes so still f9 so that we enter into that book all right select that legacy book order you enter we need to select our usb cd room this one yeah i'm selected make sure that you save okay. and press escape press f10 you select usb cd room enter press any key from the CD, don't forget to press that. If you don't press, you just continue the button. And until you press any key as it tells you. Yeah. Okay. You select the language, depends. So I use English. And select French, Portuguese, any language. Select English. Yeah. Okay. Here, um, I leave it that way. Depends, you change. So, press next. Next. And then install. Okay. 
So I go to my Windows 10 Pro. You can use your keyboard, you can use the mouse to work in. Click on next. These are the license terms. Definitely you have to accept because if you don't accept, then you don't move any further. So you accept the license. Yeah, and then click on next. But this is a brand new machine and we are just beginning from scratch. So you come to custom, install Windows, only advanced. Click. It should bring you. This is now the hard disk. You come to hard disk. So I would suggest that you delete all the partitions. Reserve. But sometimes there are some complicated machines that runs that if you delete the system reserve, you might find difficulties in finding the driver. So you need to be sure about that. Now we have one partition now. So the hard disk is at 500 GP. So we need to partition these hard disks so that we make our C where we store our windows then D you make it for your backup your documents files whatever so there you go it's 465 the reserve all the balance is for the machine don't ask and say oh it is 465 not 500 no the balance is for system reserve so you click on new we are going to partition our hard disk so that you have C and D or you can rename it whatever you want as long as you partition it so it comes there and normally I'll make it, I'll make my C to be 200 so that the balance goes to my D because put my, my backup, my software, my everything on D so this C, I just give it that then click on apply then click on OK yeah, it is partitioning there we go so we have three partitions now this is system reserve number one. Number two, it is a 194.8 GB. That is now my C or partition two. Then I come to my number three. That is a number three it is unallocated space. It has 270.4 GB. We still have another step to do. So you click on new. You want to make it proper and ready for use. But it depends. If you want to repartition it again, you just click there and then you click on new. You select. And let's just apply it that way because I don't want it to be partitioned again. Don't forget to format. If you don't format, then after installing your Windows, you won't see it. So you make sure that you format it. So you click OK. All right, it is formatted. Okay, it is done. Okay, okay you need to format. Then format again. Be sure. All right, you come to this drive too. That's why we want to install our operating system. That is Windows 10. So you click there, then you come and click next. There you go, it's about to start counting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It will count from one up to 100. Let's follow the step.
we are almost getting ready yeah that is installation of windows 10 it's pretty cool pretty nice it's simple to me isn't that hard anyone can do it but you need to be careful when doing it so there you go if you are connected on any network you just click on it so that gets proper updates by this time i'm not going to connect so you go to i skip this step click on user express that is use express settings it says just a moment We're almost done thank you for your patience here um, okay this is another step create an account for this pc so if you want to use a password you can choose or you can choose to do anything that you want but choosing a password make sure that you don't forget it because if you forget it you have to redo the process so you make sure that you put some password that's a bit simple but make sure you don't forget it but this time i'm just going to put uh, for example asking who's going to use this pc i'll just put the admin you can put your name whatever so i put admin then i click on next i'm going to put the password it's asking for the password you can put but make sure i don't forget it so uh next Wow, so there we go. We are done with uh, setting up our Windows 10. Right, so um, in one of my tutorial, if you check on, on my videos, one of my, my videos, there's a tutorial that shows how to put on these icons because it comes like this with only recycle bin but normally this is my computer blah blah what have you so i want to show you how to do them or you can also go to my one of my videos how to put this top icons on windows 10 so right here you go to settings then look for them but i make this a shortcut of doing it yeah okay let's first first of all open our we go to we, we go and look for our we see how we partitioned our you see yeah there you go you see have C and D. Remember when you partitioned? Yeah, that's how it is. Alright, those are some of the steps on uh, how to install Windows 10 on our laptop. It could be new from the shop or you've been using it and you want to reinstall, but those are the very steps that you use to install Windows 10 on your laptop or computer desktop. So thank you very much for keeping me here from the beginning up to the end. To produce is my name and please don't forget to subscribe. If you have subscribed already, thumbs up. Thank you very much. Being here. And uh, please subscribe, like and share. So and by the way, in uh, this is part one, Windows 10 installation part one. So I'll be making part two of uh, Windows 10 upgrade i'll be showing you how to upgrade windows 10 right from scratch up to the latest purchases so just keep it here ciao ciao